how to add a new company on Freshpay. Go to your companies list and click add new company. You can choose whether it's direct to pay only or full payroll and if you have CIS or not. If you choose for CIS, you can choose the contractor flow or the subcontractor flow, or you can just have them both. You can assign the company at this point to one of your users. You can choose what type of company it is, their address, and you can put in here the HMRC payroll references and accounts office reference. You can add your departments here. Um, there are unlimited departments, so you don't have to have them. Uh, you can choose whether it's a mid-year start or not, um, whether they're a small employer and whether they're entitled to employment allowance. If this is a mid-year start and you've already claimed, for example, 2,500 employment allowance, you need to put that and you must obviously put in your business sector as well. You have your apprenticeship levy allowance. Please note this isn't a charge, it's an allowance. Freshpay will default to the full 15,000, but if you have more than one company and you've split that allowance between the companies, um, you need to amend it there. You can add in your holiday entitlement, start your pension set up. You can choose to start without the pension scheme. I'm going to choose that right now to make it a bit quicker for us. And then you start your payroll set up. If you're a mid-year starter, you have to start the start date of the first tax period in the year that you're paying. So that may well be April. You can choose when the team is paid on a day of the month. We can choose certain dates in the month, or you can choose the first Monday, the last Monday, etc., etc. I'm going to just use the last working day of the month, and I'm going to show, say that they are. That's for the same period. So April is paid on the last day of April. When it falls on a bank weekend or bank holiday, I'm going to say it's the previous working day, and I'm going to choose that the employee is notified on pay date. You can choose that they're notified after pay date or before pay date. So many dates. In fact, let's just go back. I'm going to choose that they're notified one day before pay date. Then we've got our payroll calendar will come through here. And you can edit these dates whenever you like. And if all up until the time that you haven't submitted to HMRC, you're able to edit these dates. And then that's your pay, your company set up. Then you're ready to do your, to set up all your employees and add them to payroll.